Hey, I'm Deacon Branch One here. Prepare for the 2015 edition of Arrow Classic. You know, people ask me a lot of times, uh, are some preps more difficult than others? Have you seen some preps in the past stand out more than others? And, uh, you know, definitely. Uh, and I think uh, one of the toughest preps I ever had was uh, when I was preparing for the 2012 Arnold Classic. You know, I had uh, suffered a devastating quad, you know, tear about four or five weeks prior to the Olympia in 2011. So I had about six and a half months to, uh, once I had surgery and I had reconnected, and I had to re rehabilitate myself and train for the show. And uh, that was by far, uh, that one stands out as probably the most difficult. I had to reach down deep inside myself and really go hard down the for come back from that. And unfortunately, I was able to trip myself on a classic injury, but uh, that was definitely challenging. You know, that, that, the one thing about when you go through something like that and you do it successfully is the amount of self confidence you gain is uh, you know, tremendous. You know, knowing that you can suffer like most people would in their career, and you know, you're able to overcome it, triumph, and come back as you know as good as you were before. So. Uh, that was uh, definitely one of the most difficult preps I've ever ever had, and you know I think this one this year uh, after not having a very disappointing year last year, you know I ended on a good note with a you know victory to Europa and top six at Olympia, but still not where I wanted to be. And uh, you know sometimes you give 100 percent, 100 percent is not enough. Uh, I see it all the time. You know guys they give everything they have, and it's not a it's not enough. You know that was me. I gave everything I had for Olympia, and uh, I was pretty happy with my conditioning. But uh, it wasn't enough. So the you offseason, know, I doubled down. And I started prepping for this show. I had to go places I've never gone before. You know, sometimes you got to get more. Find a way to get more than what you've ever given before. Do more than you've ever done before. And you know, get something you haven't done before. Uh, that's what I've done for this show, man. In the past almost four months of my life, I considered training for this show, man. You know, it's hard to do when you have a family and a business or so many other responsibilities, but you got to remember what got you here. Go back to the basics, you know. When I was a young kid coming to this gym, you know, I went to bed at night thinking about winning my contest. I wake up in the morning thinking about it. I dream about it at night. That's what I did all day long. I was focused on it. And I had to go back to that. So I be all I thought about was getting this bizarre class and doing myself. Get on back on top. So uh, I've given more than I've ever given. Given to this show, I'm more focused, more dedicated, train harder, and uh, to find out in two weeks. My best advice uh, I give the young guys, you know, all the time I get questions, emails, you know, I get a seminar with a contest, and the young guys they, they, they tell me they want to be where I'm at, you know, enjoy the same success I've had. And I encourage them to, you know, to do it, but um, I also tell them to be smart. You know, there's only, a, I don't know, maybe six or ten guys in our sport that do really well at this. And uh, you know, if you're not top ten Olympia, you're not going to have a very good paycheck in the day, most likely. So, um, if you're doing it for money, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. You do it because you love the sport. You know, you love pushing yourself. You know, and you love building your physique and improving your physique. I thought those are the right reasons to do it. Um, my best advice to people is get an education. You know, get an education, get a good job, you know, start your own business, you know, have something to fall back on. You know, and then uh, when you're not relying on bodybuilding to pay your bills, it's a little more fun that way, you know. So uh, I know a lot of pros, that, and all they have is a uh, Endorsement contract and contest winnings. And, you know, if they have a bad year, it's a stressful thing. So, you know, if you're, you're smart, you manage your life and your career correctly, then uh, it's fine. Man. I love what I do, man. I love every day what, what I do. And, I'm, trade anything. I'm living my dream. And, but I got that right. You know, I've always worked for myself. And I've got education. And uh, no matter what happens, it doesn't change the way I live.
name is Sheila Brown. Hello, Muscle Development. I'm here with Branch Warren. We're on a bound. Uh, we're leaving in a few weeks. And I'm so proud of him. I, I'm trying to remember back when we first started together, which is like maybe 2009. And I've always wanted to work with him, but he's so independent. And for him to hire me to take me on and to see him just evolve, I mean, one year he got Best Posing Award. I'm like, oh my gosh, he was at the Arnold. So that's a big step for him because he's usually quiet and introvert. And then for him to step out of that box and to hire me and to actually win an award for Best Posing, which was not his better suit, it's amazing. And so I'm just so proud of him, of what he's become and, and how he's let no one stop him. He's beat all the odds. What I'm very excited about is he always stands with the front of my bicep with his feet even. So I've been trying to push him to stand with the leg out to kind of create an illusion of a small waist so it looks incredible. He finally decided to do it this year. So we've got a couple of changes. Uh, help from um, Neil, uh, who uh, works with Flex Lewis as far as the posing. His quarter turns, we've kind of tweaked that even better. His, um, his quarter turns, his side poses are phenomenal. So um, look forward to some new stuff, some new music, some new posing tricks, all that in the name of Branch. <laughs>